This is the new TC Pride Podcast, episode 83, part four of special on-location coverage of Saturday in Loring Park at Pride 2017. I'm Ryan Garza from the Twin Cities Pride Podcast, and I'm here with Sarah McPeck. Sarah! Hi, everyone. We just finished up at the Big Fat Comedy Hour at Loring Park, and it was amazing. Jason Schomer is doing the robot, everybody. You can't see it, but it's amazing right now. Yeah, it was so random. We were just wandering by the stage, and we saw one of your performers. Tell me about your uh, your, your act today. My accident. Your, your act. Your t- tell me about some of your performers. Uh, <laughs> not your ex. Like, what? <laughs> no, my no, no. Better not be here. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, uh, I had some amazing performers. We had Denzel Bellin from the Brave New Workshop main stage performer. We had Jason Schomer opening up for Louis Anderson next month. We had Amanda Costner. Her EP LGBT Redneck was out. We had Wendy Berkowitz uh, just off of the Boston Comedy Hour. We had Jody Maruska and Martina and Harry Bradshaw and it was amazing. So you mentioned the Big Fat Comedy Hour, it is blowing up. You are like getting huge. So t- tell me uh, tell me more about the <laughs> tell me more about the Big Fat Comedy Hour folks that uh, that haven't heard about it yet. That have been living under a rock and haven't heard about it yet. Well, what had happened was <laughs> I had an idea for a show. I talked to Lush. They loved it. I've been waiting for the place and I found it. We have been able to have so much fun at Lush. We've had the best performers and not only do we have performers that are here, we have created some amazing Amazing performers from our wild card. We have people coming back month after month that are just starting comedy and they are blowing it away. Um, we also raise money for LGBT community groups. Every show we've raised over $500 since the Big Fat Comedy Hour has been going and it couldn't be better. So please come on out to my show. It is a big party, I promise you. And last time we talked, we talked about your film Project Q. You said you were submitting to some film festivals. How's that going? Well, honestly, that's going kind of slow. We realize that our, our movie's a little bit long for most film festivals. So we've been having to re-edit, so we're going to come back out strong in another couple of months and see what happens. But it's going well when we're going to be doing screenings around the Twin Cities, and it doesn't matter how long that is. All right, so stay tuned. In the meantime, check out the Big Fat Comedy Hour at Lush. Thank you, as always, Sarah, and looking forward to seeing you again. Have a safe and happy Pride, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. I am the MC for the Pride Parade with Monica West. Thanks so much, Sarah. Happy Pride. Thank you so much. Bye, Ryan. Amanda Costner. So I was walking by the stage when you were performing, and I was blown away. T- tell me a little about your music. Uh, it's all autobi- autobiographical. I'm a comedic musician, a gay preacher's daughter, so a lot of material, obviously. I uh, just released an EP called LGBT Redneck, and I'm having a blast at Pride. Happy to celebrate. Yeah, you've got some really great lyrics. I, I think I walked by, you were talking about whispering Selena songs. <laughs> uh, I Since... Selena Quintanilla, of course, the original Selena, basically was what made me realize I was gay. And so I appreciate her talent and her skills. And um, kind of one of my favorite things I like to do with my girlfriend is whisper her lyrics sometimes in, in English, because she doesn't understand Spanish, but yeah. Awesome. Is this your first time performing at Pride? It's my first time performing here. It's been a blast. So fun. Great. And where can people find your music online? I'm on iTunes, Spotify. I have a website, amandacostner.com, Bandcamp. I'm everywhere you can download music. Fantastic. I'm sure we'll run into you again. Thanks very much for your time. Happy Pride. Thanks for having me. Happy Pride. Envy. Um, well, I figured I'd do a bit of a free the nipple on top of, you know, really put out my pride. Um, I used to also have right here also the bisexual pride flag as well. Um, other than that, i just out here to have a lot of fun and show off a little bit. <laughs> Pride means freedom to me. It means the ability to be who you want to be and what you want to be and to be accepted for it worldwide, not just, you know, within your family or your friends, for everybody. Awesome. Do you have a first Pride story you want to share? Um, This is my first Pride, actually. (laughs) So here's my story. I got here and it's been amazing. (laughs) Story. Well, thank you very much uh, for showing up today and uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Happy Pride. Happy Pride to you, too. April. Kelly. Yes, so I am wearing a long black pin skirt with just a bright pink, fun, very noticeable bra with a a lace black tank top on top of it. And then my hair is completely rainbow, has been for many years, never changing it. (laughs) You didn't do that just for pride, you just you just do that no nope I wear this all through the winter keeps me happy and bright (laughs) through the winter so I do it with my own hands and that's a good idea I might might give it a try this year I don't know those winters get a little long right so how's how's the festival going today oh it's awesome I've been here since 11 o'clock and I don't want to leave pride means happiness um, open-mindedness it means it's just I am literally goosebumps filled with happiness there's no reason to be upset and if you are having anything that's like 
bad going on in your life, this is the one day you can like set it aside and just be happy with who you are and everybody else. Um, it's definitely acceptance. So there's just so many people that are part of Pride and it's just accepting all of them and just reaching out to the community and being a part of it. So just loving one another and helping each other out and just, you know, accepting who you are and who everyone else is. Nice. Does one of you have a first Pride story you want to share? Yes. So the first time I went to Pride, it was actually not a very good experience just because of the person I went with. Um, I got completely ignored. It was a really bad experience. So I knew the second year I was like, I am going back. I'm having a good time. There's no negativity because it's not what it's about. So I didn't let it overrule me this time and I made it a totally different experience and this experience is a memorable one. Yeah, it sounds like it's been that way ever since. You're all about the positivity now. Yes, absolutely. Um, my first Pride was when I was 14 and my first real relationship, my girlfriend brought me and it was very awesome because I can look back at pictures of that and I actually have reconnected with people that I met my first year. Now, um, what did that be, 11 years later? So I think that's pretty awesome to say. I was like, oh my gosh, wait a minute, this picture. Wait, is that you? Yes, it is. And it's pretty awesome to say that, you know, everyone's very happy in it and all accepting of it. And I've never, I can't say I've ever had a bad pride. We had the rain and now it's stopped and it's beautiful. And so much cooler this year. Last year, I felt like I was melting right into the ground. <laughs> we, we were here too. We were also wearing black last year. Yeah, it was, it was brutal. It was brutal. This is beautiful and cool and everybody else is cool and just so much positivity and love spreading around today. Hey, thank you for your time, both of you, and uh, happy Pride. Thank you. Happy Pride to you. Happy Pride to you. Chris. Cody. Pride to me, uh, it means embracing, uh, I think, my truest self. Uh, I think the outsider in all of us comes out today, and uh, our truest identities are just like out here. This is who we are, 100%. And uh, if no other day of the year, this is like the time for everybody to shine. What does pride mean to you? Uh, definitely like a day of remembrance for my forefathers and foremothers who paved the way for me to have this freedom today and just taking a time to remember the struggles that they went through and that life was not as easy as it is today as it was before and just appreciating what I have. Uh, my first Pride, I don't know, I've come out about six times. I came out as a lesbian, bi, gay, and trans. So I've had a lot of Prides. So everyone's like a crapshoot. You know, I'm excited about what's to come. I don't put labels on anything, but that's the beauty of Pride. You can come and be yourself and you don't need labels and that's it. And that's the beauty of it. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Martha. Roxy. Well, I was down in Louisiana at my sister's and she took me to the Mardi Gras shop and I found these. So I said, we got to wear these for pride. And tell me, tell me about them. Tell me what they look like. Well, they are rainbow colored mohawks with pink, orange, yellow, blue, purple colors in them. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Nick, it's all about coming together, being together as a community, equality and it just feels great when you can walk around and feel perfectly fine with everybody around. Be surrounded by all these other awesome people. Yeah, it's, I mean, really, it's great. You couldn't ask for a better setting. We're also asking people about their first Pride stories. Do you have like a first Pride story like share? This is actually my first Pride ever. <laughs> so it's, it's been an experience for ages, memories. I couldn't, yeah. It's incredible, actually. So, <laughs> Fantastic. So happy to be here for your first Pride. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the night. Happy Pride. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Appreciate right, it. Man, Emily. So, Emily, you said you just got to the festival. How's it going so far? Love it. This is only my, this is my first time here, actually, for the festival. Awesome. And then tomorrow I'm going to the parade for the first time ever. Great. Super pumped. Super pumped. But they've all been here, so I'm super excited. I'm... Yeah, tell, tell me about your crew here. Tell me about your squad. Okay, this is my, this is my whole squad right here. We got, we got a part of everybody. Um... <laughs> from all around the world, all around the U.S. But no, this is our first time at the Beer Garden, first time at the Pride, and we're also gonna go to the Parade. So this is our first time, first year. We're loving it. So tell me, we've been asking people what Pride means to them. What does Pride mean to you? Oh, like acceptance for everything and anyone. Seriously, I've never felt so welcomed 
and we got a we got a lot of diversity right here and everyone feels so comfortable and we've never ever had that and we're talking about people from like years and years ago we all come together and everyone feels super cool right on we're all about the diversity thank you very much for your time enjoy the rest of the night happy pride thanks you too happy pride love it glenn pride will be kind of accept accepting and kind of being comfortable enough to express that outwardly sometimes it takes a little bit more for some people but i think overall pride is just about like being who you are and being comfortable and being that, I guess. Fantastic. This is a great place to do it, right? It's a perfect place to do it, for sure. <laughs> Thanks. Happy Pride! Darren from Cleveland, Ohio. Well, this is something, a little something I put together. I actually haven't worn my shiny patent leather outfit in, in quite a while, and I figured today would be the awesomest day to do it. I cannot wait for En Vogue, actually. And if they don't hurry it up, I'm going to have to go, okay? <laughs> no, actually, it's beautiful. I'm so glad that the weather cleared up because that, that storm came in for, I don't know, about four, five, six minutes, and it's, and it's beautiful right now. Pride means support of which we will always need in our community. Always, always. Uh, Republican, Democrat, Chinese, Asian, black, white, whatever label you consider yourself. Thank you and happy Friday to you as well. Eric, I um, came here on a total whim. I was driving for Uber and uh, dropped somebody off and I was like, what the hell, I'll stick around and kind of see what's going on. Perfect night for a big outdoor party. Yes, absolutely. So we've been asking people about what pride means to them. What does pride mean to you? So I am not LBGT. I'm here just on a, kind of an observational reasoning, and uh, I'm, I'm. This doesn't really answer your question at all, but uh, but I, I'm I'm I've become like obsessed with anthropology, and I'm I'm a big just kind of watching people kind of thing, and so I'll go to events like this just to kind of see how people are kind of interacting with each other, like how is this. How is this gathering any different from any other gathering? That type of thing. Right. So, to answer your pride question, um, you know, it's like, yeah, ab absolutely. Uh, throughout humanity, um, you know, the 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 lifestyle has been looked down upon through religion, through various other channels, and uh, you know, there's 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 a ramping up kind of towards like acceptance for. Uh, various all kinds of lives and uh, you know I, I would I would rather see us be a melting pot than a than a stew and uh, you know and and so I that's if that that still doesn't answer your question I'm still I'm still kind of going up and down this roller coaster here but yeah no but this, I mean it's great that uh, that everyone can come out here and absolutely feel like they can express themselves without any kind of judgment whatsoever thanks thanks low this is Bucky. Uh, he's a Japanese chin and Shih Tzu mix, and he has a mohawk. Nice, and he's nice. Looks like he's nice and warm, ready for the. It's gonna be a little cooler tonight, I think, but at least it's not a million degrees like it was last year. Yes, exactly. I think it's a good night for this. Uh, it's been awesome. I've been here most of the day. Um, I was volunteering in the bot booth earlier. Uh, we're looking for people to march with us tomorrow, uh, which we're pretty excited about. So this is a big this is a big year for the bisexual community. There's a big bi flag now, right? So they've they've, they've had a, a lot of increase in uh, invisibility this year. Yeah, I think it's great. We worked with Pride to get a bi flag and then also a trans flag in the color guard, which I think is really important for representation. Um, and we're just hoping a lot of people show up for the community and kind of represent. I think it just means uh, accepting who you are and not being afraid to show it and finding people that are within your community that will support you and you supporting them. Last year was my first year marching with Pride and then I got involved with BOP after that. Um, so I think it's great you come out, see Pride, march in Pride if you want to. Uh, just find people that are like you who, you know, want to do the same things. Tanya. Mel. Pride means just people loving people. Everybody loving everybody. Can't really top that answer. Her first ride was last year, and she rode in the uh, parade with me on my motorcycle. Oh, right. You ride the motorcycle in the parade? I do. I do. Yep. Showed up, and there I was on the news. <laughs> thank you. Happy Pride to you guys. Happy Pride. Thank you. Alex Hansen. And Delaney Wright. To me, Pride means that you love yourself, you love who you are, and everything about it. Pride means love everyone the way you love yourself. I love both those answers. Uh, so we've also been asking people about their first pride stories. When you have like a first pride story you want to share? This is our first pride story. I have never been pride before. And today I was at work. I work at Target and we're a big pride company. We sell a lot of pride outfits and everything. And so I decided today I wanted to go celebrate with all of my fellow friends and everyone and just 
celebrate what we love and who we love and our love, love ourselves. And so that's what today is. I'm so thrilled to be here to capture your first Pride. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the night. Happy Pride. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jessica, uh, anonymous for the voiceless. We're trying to bring awareness to the uh, lives of animals that are in factory farms. So we're showing footage of slaughterhouses because a lot of people aren't aware of the cruel practices that are in place. So we're just trying to bring truth to people and bring awareness. So we, we have uh, volunteers showing footage. We have um, outreach volunteers here to answer questions. Um, you know, just talk about you know, what compassionate choices they can make, provide literature, resources. We are a vegan organization. So we are promoting plant-based eating. What, what, do you, what do you tell people about the footage that, that, that you're showing? Uh, some of the practices, like the egg industry, the male chicks, they're not useful to the egg industry, so they're ground alive or suffocated in bags. The dairy industry has a lot of cruelty. Um, they're in, forcibly impregnated. Uh, and then they you know, have to have a baby every year to produce milk. And then once that cow is not reproducing, they go to slaughter. Uh, so I have a question for you. So like what, what can regular people like me and you do to, uh, to, to try to work towards progress um, in these areas? Uh, just go vegan. And, and for people that maybe aren't ready to take that, that it's a big step. So people that, that aren't maybe ready to take that, that big of a step, what are, what are some other kind of smaller things that they can do to sort of like work towards that uh, goal? Yeah, there are baby steps. So, you know, there's, you know, veggie burgers, you know, plant-based meats. There's, um, you know, plant-based milks, yogurts, everything that you have in a dairy product, you have in a plant-based alternative. So just finding, you know, something in your diet and then finding an alternative for that. Uh, so we, you know, have recipes that we share. Um, we have grocery store tours, dine outs. So we have a supportive community. And there, there's actually a lot of really good reasons. I'm actually vegetarian. So uh, there's actually a lot of good reasons um, it, for, for the earth and for like, like economic reasons. Like what, what are some other reasons that you would give people about being like uh, going, going to like a plant-based diet? Uh, so other than the moral reasons, there's the environmental. So there's, you know, 10 billion animals, land animals slaughtered in the U.S. every year. So all of that, they create a lot of carbon monoxide and uh, methane, which are contributing to climate change. So, I mean, just by cutting meat out of your diet, you can make a, you know, a difference with climate change. Uh, and also a lot of the waste from animal agriculture, like, you know, the, basically the poop, um, that goes into, you know, runoff into rivers and the ocean eventually and is basically destroying our ocean, causing dead zones. So we're, you know, it's affecting the fish and the wildlife in the oceans as well. So it's, it affects more than just yourself. So where can people go to find out more information online or to get more information about this? Uh, there's so many resources. Um, I mean, there's Animal, Animal Rights Coalition, Compassionate Action for Animals, Vegan Outreach, uh, I mean, just just Google it. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for your time. Good luck with everything you're doing. Uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Happy Pride. Thanks. The TC Pride Podcast is a production of Podletter Media and Twin Cities Pride. Subscribe now on iTunes, on Android, or by email at tcpridepodcast.org. Get above the noise by raising your voice. Podletter Media turns your email newsletter, blog, or video content into a more powerful, more personal, more intimate, on-demand listening experience. Your podcast. Your story. Your voice. Simplified. Amplified. Amplified. Learn more now at podletter.com.